Hello everybody, Spotted Gecko here again, bringing you another video for the game World of Warships Legends. And today, I want to talk a little bit about Steel. It'll be a quick video, but while I talk about the Steel, I'll just play one of these uh, arena matches that you can watch while I'm talking about it. Now, with Steel, uh, Wargaming released a little uh, note about Steel, and I wanted to get that across to you here. Now, they, they talk first off, they're saying that captains, they're saying... They have been receiving some questions about steel badges, specifically about how you obtain and spend them. In response to these, they have they have provided a short uh, FAQ. Now, there's been a lot of feedback out there that's uh, been talking about how difficult it is to get a hold of speed of steel, and steel is meant to be difficult to get a hold of. Now, it says here, our steel badges and steal the same currency. The overall answer to that is yes. You may come across both terms in game and in game related publications with steel badges being the official name and steel being used as the abbreviation. So they're both one in the same, okay? A lot of people are gonna to refer to steel also means steel badges. Both terms refer to the same currency. Now, the next question in the FAQ is, what is the purpose of steel badges? Why introduce a new currency to the game? I actually had that question as well, a lot too. I couldn't answer it. Now, this is the answer. Steel badges have been introduced to enable the most dedicated and competitive players. Now note that right there. Steel is introduced for those dedicated players and very competitive players to convert their dedication into unique uh, unique um, rewards. So that means if you are a dedicated player to this game or a very competitive player, Steel is meant to be for you, okay? The grind to get Steel is meant to be slow it requires a lot of patience and the current top reward will simply take several months to earn meaning that it's going to take you longer to earn those steel rewards than it would be to go for ships in the bureau okay so steel is meant to take a long time and it's meant for dedicated and competitive players so if you're dedicated, steel is for you, okay? Now it says here, how can you earn steel badges and how fast can you earn them? Well, Wargaming wants you to know that there are two main ways in which you can earn steel or steel badges. Number one, earning certain achievements, usually this means top placement in the arena, such as the arena which is released right now. If you can get the top 1%, that's going to give you 2,500 steel. So that's one way. So you have to be in the top place to get this stuff. Or in ranked mode. So they haven't talked too much about ranked right now, but apparently it looks like you're probably going to earn a good chunk of steel when you get down to number one in rank. So if you're a dedicated player, you're going to probably want to play rank and arena to get that steel. Now it says here they want you to know that these competitive modes will always be the primary source of your steel badges. So steel is going to mainly come from arena and from rank. That's where you're going to get the most of your steel. Now it also says here the second way competing endless trials after finishing those campaigns. This will allow some players to forego competitive modes like arena and ranked entirely. But note this, it will take a significantly more time to earn steel in those endless trials after a campaign. So if you're going to buy out the campaign to acquire the endless um, trials where you can acquire steel, you're not going to earn anywhere near as much as you would in the arena or ranked sessions. Okay? So, note important, 
buying out campaigns will allow you to get more badges, but not as many as in the competitive only mode path. Therefore, they're saying here that they want Steel to be a free high-end, note that, high-end resource that is very difficult to get either way. And this is what's going to give you access to those rare ships. And obviously the USN Missouri, which is that 30,000 steel, that's going to be a rare ship. <laughs> Probably more like to say a very rare ship. Now, it also says here in the frequently asked questions, how exactly do I earn steel badges from campaigns? And that's a valid question. Now, to earn steel, first off, you're going to have to complete the campaign either through completing it early by buying it out. And then you get to do endless you get to do the endless campaign trials. It will earn you renown, which in turn progresses you along the endless milestones. Each milestone that you hit is worth 5 steel badges and requires 25 renown to unlock that. So you got to earn that reloan, renown to unlock those uh, five steel badges. So you can see right there that you're not going to earn a whole lot of steel in the endless trials. You're probably going to be better off going with the arena, but I'm guessing the real dedicated players are going to do arena, they're going to do ranked, and they're going to do endless trials. So it says here, depending on your skill, play style, and other factors, you will be able to amass 2,000 to 4,000 steel badges per update. The maximum available number of badges in the current update is 3750. So if you think about that, let's say you get the maximum 4,000 per update. To get to 30,000 steel for the Missouri, you're going to have to go through seven and a half updates. That's a long time to get the Missouri. So think about that. And you can see why that ship is going to be pretty much considered very rare. Now, what can I obtain in exchange for steel badges? So it's not just a Missouri you can get. You can spend these on the rare ships. Like the example says, currently only Missouri is available. But they're saying they plan, they plan to, to introduce more ships in future, um, in future updates. Obviously, you can get valuable resources, but customizable items that sounds interesting because i don't know about anything in the uh in the forge yet on that now it says here to reiterate we see steel badges as the ultimate reward for the most committed and most dedicated among you over the long term while some proportion of steel badges can be bought by purchasing campaign milestones early and completing the endless trials it's always going to be the lesser amount so I hope that this kind of uh, gives you a better idea of what steel is going to be like. Steel is going to be rare, very difficult to earn. But boy, if you can get those rare ships or what these, what I find interesting, customizable items, we'll just have to see. But anyways, that's basically it on the on uh, steel. If you want to check this out yourself, you can always go into the uh, Discord for Wargaming and you can check check out the frequently asked questions there about seal badges and you anyways hope you like this if you did please give me a like and of course be wonderful if you subscribe for future videos on my channel this is uh, spotted gecko and i'll see you on the seas next time